All right, so this is what your interface will look like when you first boot up the Raspberry Pi. Um, we're in uh, June 2020 here, so occasionally they update the OS, uh, which is called Raspberry Pi OS, and so it might look a little different if you're watching this video at a later point. But generally, you'll find the Start menu up here in the top left, and this is where all your applications are. And generally, the first thing I tell people to do is go to Preferences and Raspberry Pi Configuration. And a lot of this stuff was already set up when you first uh, installed the operating system onto the onto your or when you first booted it. But things like changing your password here, um, some c configuration here. If you're having some display issues, this is where you would check that. Um, SSH is going to be really uh, important at a later point when we talk about some projects. This is a secure shell. That's what SSH stands for. And it's if you want to connect to your Raspberry Pi from another computer via the internet or remotely. And then some localization set settings. So you should have probably already configured these when you first um, started Raspberry Pi when it first booted up. Um, but if you didn't, this is a good place to go and, and, and do some of that configuration. And yours might look slightly different than mine. You might have a few more options than I do because I kind of have a modified version here. But I generally tell people to do that first. Your, your internet connection should be working, but if not, you can click up here and it, uh, I'm using Ethernet, but it, you should see Wi-Fi if you uh, uh, have a Raspberry Pi with Wi-Fi. Okay, so those are some of the first things to look for. Uh, next video, we're going to look at how to start doing some programming, because that's one of the uh, kind of real powerful things about the Raspberry Pi is how easy they make to do some programming, both from the software side, but also accessing the hardware. So we'll look at that next.